We are your dump trailer experts on the Gulf Coast. That's three, got a dump truck. Four, that's five, that's six, seven. Oh, oh, how many do we have over here? Let's take a look at everything like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got four, we got three iron bull, two iron bulls, two load trails. Got the oldie but goodie right there. Got that one right there. Got that big text right there on the back of my truck. This right here is Dump Trailer Battle Royale. This is like live. This is better than pay-per-view. This is better than WWE. This would be coming off the top rope. Superfly, Jimmy Snooker. You got to be old to know that name and everything like that. I'm here to tell you, folks, we have got some trailers lined up right here. We are roofing some houses in Pensacola, Florida, because that lady came by, and, man, she messed us all up. Her name was Sally. Sally did a number, but we get in the back. That's for real. It's another long day. It's about six o'clock. We're headed to go pick up the last dump trailer that's on location. That way I can be at the dump tomorrow morning when the gates open. We're making progress. It's all about serving the customer and it doesn't do my guys any good for that customer to have to put up with my trailer being in their driveway any longer than it has to be. So, we're headed out there to get it, and then we'll get us a bite to eat. Take it easy for the rest of the night. Well, we just got in. It's about 7.15. Don't forget, we left the house at 5.15 this morning. Just took Tyson for a walk. We let him in blue out in the backyard. She's a female. She's going to be having puppies here shortly, so we're excited about that. It's time to take a shower. Heat up my steak from the other night, have leftovers, and do some type of mindless activity like watching the paint fall off the ceiling or something like that that does not require any effort. So, stay tuned. We'll do a little bit. Oh my gosh. It feels so good to have them bad boys. Hey, here's a Tyson. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Well, it feels good to have those work boots off. Letting them puppies breathe a little bit. Hey, Dad, I'm back again. You know, I just couldn't stand it. It's been like two minutes since I've seen you. Yep, yep, two minutes. Yep. Hey, the good boy. Hey, the good boy. It's the most chill dog I've ever met in my life. I will bite his ear. I will blow in his ear. I'll grab his tail. Never does he ever get excited. Hey, Dad, I couldn't stand it. I had to follow you into your room, you know, because it was like two minutes since I saw you last time and everything. I'm so glad you're home. Yep, I am. I'm glad you're home. Yeah, because he's a baby. Baby Tyson. Baby Tyson. Baby Tyson. Yep. Had a good old dog right there. Okay, we got a shower. We're rested. About to watch some TV and put this video on first off those of you that subscribe and watch thank you very much i greatly appreciate that those of you that are telling me hey i got my friend to subscribe i greatly appreciate that as well thank you thank you thank you tyson says thank you as well and uh i think blue is still outside so um you know, I get in, and I'm scrolling on Facebook and everything, and a gentleman that I know here in town, Dan, he's a contractor, says, got rid of my three-quarter ton truck that I've had 65 days or whatever, got my 2021 long bed crew cab four-wheel drive Duramax diesel. My baby came in couple people respond, hey man, congrats, that's cool, that's nice and everything. And then one lady. Sure must be nice to have money. And I was nice. Not as good as I could have been because I could have just kept on scrolling and went by. But y'all know how I am. And I said, there's a tremendous amount of money out in the world it's ours for the taking and what i mean by that is is that you know 
I used to have a mindset that was like, you know, man, it's really hard to come by. Um, it's very difficult to make anything substantial. It's really hard to get ahead. And that's not the case at all. What is the case is it takes work and it takes discipline. And very, very rarely are you going to hit a really big lick at one time and then that's it. You're going to have to hit a bunch of small base hits and keep stacking some cash and then take that money and put it into something that's going to pay you a little bit of money every month. I don't care whether it's a vending machine, um, pressure washer, a dump trailer, a rental house, something. And then you're going to do that again. And then you'll do that again. And then you'll do that again. And then before you know it, there's an extra couple thousand dollars a month coming in. You're like, hey, you know, we can finally take that vacation we want. Or, you know, we can buy that house up in the Carolina mountains or the desert in Arizona. Maybe take that trip to Las Vegas. Doesn't matter what it is. But guess what? You've got that option. Why is that that you have that option? Because you put forth some action. You didn't just happen to stay on Facebook and say, must be nice to have some money. Was that like a no-brainer? Hell yeah, it's nice to have some money. Everybody. I haven't met anybody in my life that has honestly told me I would not like to have $10 billion. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, oh man, you know, I don't need that kind of money and everything like that. I get it. I get it. Okay. You know, but here's the thing is, is that the more that you have, the more decisions you get to make, and the more people you can help also, okay? So don't ever forget it's not about you. It is really necessary about helping others. So the caveat to all of this is, is that that guy Dan works his ass off, okay? He's got a lot of employees, a lot of long days. He's got hustle. He's got game. You know, he and I talk every now and then, compare notes with business, construction, employees, yada, yada. He's got dump trailers also, um, but he uses them more for his business. I don't think he rents them out, but he might. You know, I, I don't know. Um, but I do know this. He's not afraid to take action, and if it takes working seven days a week, that's what he will do, you know? And there's a common denominator among people that are in a position that I would like to trade places with that is along the lines of their work ethic, okay? You know, this morning I left the house at 5.15. I was back here at about 7.15, 7.30, somewhere in there. Uh, about 6 o'clock, talked to the, the last contractor, said, hey, man, is that dump trailer ready to come pick up? He said, yep. I said, all right, I'll be out there. He said, oh, man, those people are chill. Don't worry about it. There's no big rush on it or anything like that. You're right. There's not. However, the message that I convey to that customer by saying, I'll go ahead and go on out there and pick that up so it's out of the customer's driveway, out of your customer's driveway, the message is, your business matters to me with your customer. It goes beyond his and my relationship, okay? The only person I answer to is that roofing contractor, okay? Not the people at the house. That's between him and them, not me, okay? However, he knows due to my actions, not my words, but my actions that his business matters to me. I want him to continue to be successful because as long as his phone's ringing, mine will be ringing too. It's Randall Robert with the Hustle Nation. I hope you had a wonderful, productive, profitable day. If you are off this weekend, enjoy it. Be good to yourself and do some research on maybe getting a side hustle going. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Oh yeah, and don't ever forget, Somebody else has got your money. Remember that and repeat. Somebody else has my money. When you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, who is it and what do I need to do to get it from them? Have a great day.